Hi, I'm Brian Parro and welcome to Ask a Developer. Today's first question is from Axier who asks, which IDE should I use for Android development? So that's a great question. For those of you who don't know, an IDE is an integrated developer environment. It's basically a collection of tools developer use, it's like a source code editor, a debugger, um, and different tools that are useful. So in Android, there's really two major options. There's Android Studio, which is a flavor of IntelliJ that Android that Google just pushed out recently, um, and it's in a developer preview mode. Um, for your normal day-to-day -day things, it's just fine to use, but there's got a lot of bugs and it's under constant development, so it's in a state of flux. The other option is Eclipse, and there's a few different flavors of Eclipse. You have your traditional Eclipse where you can add your own Android plugins to customize the ID to how you want it. Google offers an ADT bundle or you can just use plain Eclipse and use not using any of the Android specific features. All of them honestly operate very similarly. All the Eclipse flavors are the same and that is still currently the official supported version from Google. So that being said, right now, if you're in the middle of very heavy production quality code, it's probably better to use Eclipse at this point. If you're more of just playing around and kind of want to stay on the cutting edge and play with the new things, I'd say to look at Android Studio and then, you know, make a judgment call after that to which one fits you the best. So today's second question comes from Alex, who asks, what's Tap and Pay in Android KitKat? Well, that's a really good question. Uh, Tap and Pay is a really big feature we're all extremely excited about because it's going to open up some new doors in the Android ecosystem. Uh, what it essentially allows you to do is to select an application to be your default wallet application on your phone. This means that that application, uh, if you hold your phone over a contactless payment system, that application will be the one to handle uh, those requests. Uh, prior to this, the only way you could do that was by utilizing a secure element to do the card emulation. Now with Android KitKat, developers can utilize host card emulation or HCE to develop, to develop applications that can emulate cards without reliance on the secure element. This means that a developer could create an application for a hotel that would allow you to get a code upon check-in and then actually unlock your door just by hovering your phone over the door lock. In the conceivable future, you could utilize applications to transmit your transit tickets, enter an entertainment venue, or even unlock your front door. That's it today for Ask a Developer. If you have any questions, tweet with hashtag AskADev or leave a comment.